Hi guys, this is Maria from Mighty's Way of Life. Welcome back to this year's channel. I'm excited to be here. Uh, it is currently very late on Wednesday, September 27, and I have separated some challenges so that we can get through them at an easier pace, I think. Let's see how this unravels this week. I have part of my husband's paycheck here to do some challenges and I am excited to show you how this goes. Uh, there's a couple of things that I need to tell you about the money that, not the money, the challenges, but little by little, let's, let's start by counting this money here. Okay, we have $243 for our savings. I thought I was quite ready, but I am really not. I am going to show you the no spend days. I was doing this one, notice I said was, doing this one as a challenge for a dollar. And this challenge uh, is now depleted. And as much as I want to say that oh, I really wanted to complete this, it it didn't really happen that way. Only because, well, life, you know, and I was, um, I had dental appointments and optometrist appointments. And honestly, I even felt like depleting a couple more, but I held back. I, it, might, it might happen. I'm not sure just yet, but... For now, what I have is the no spend days. I decided to stop it. I use what I had here for dental. My daughter is going to need a lot of work and it literally surpassed like 1,200, I wanna say just this year. Um, she got half work done before I left, no, after I came back from Mexico. And then now she needs the other half of the work done and I really had been ignoring it. Not that, ignoring her health, but like she told me that I could schedule the next one. So I really need to do it before the year ends. And uh, yeah, her next appointment is October 31st. So I'm hoping that I can get the rest of the money by then. So depleted due to dental, this one emergency in Mexico, and then the 100 challenge, we will continue with it. So from now on, we will definitely start with the 100 challenge and then we will be moving on from there. So no more 100 days. I'm going to put this one to the side and we're going to call it a day. So now moving on to the 100 challenge, I am doing $10 in each little pocket. So let me bring that in and we're going to color envelope or the sun 56 I think so let's go ahead and go here and let's pull a mighty 10 and we're going to put it in here and that's all done that's exciting it's not much but it will be powerful when completed so let me grab what's needed and let's color in 56. Alrighty, so for next week, what I want to do is I want to go ahead, I'm actually looking at my notes for this week, but I want to do, oh, it's already here, $40. So I will be doing $40 for next time so I can complete one page in the challenge pocketbook. And then let's move on to the summer 
challenge and the seasons we are doing 30. Let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yes, we are doing 30. That is awesome. I'm going to pull this right here and let's color in 30, but let's pull out the 30 that we need for this challenge. Okay, I know it's not the cutest, but it is very satisfying to complete this one. And we are moving on from summer to fall, which I really, really wanted to do. And I have already kind of sort of uh, put denominations for what I want to do in the fall challenge here. And uh, we're going to go with that, but before, go ahead and count how much we have in seasons Twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred dollars that is mega awesome uh, next time you see the seasons I will actually transfer uh, part of this money to go into the fall savings challenge and I'll show you that binder real quick I don't want to make that transaction right now or that move I should say but this is the a5 binder that I have dedicated to seasons and I literally have fulfilled uh, the winter savings from uh, the happy mailbox co on Etsy and then I'm currently working on the fall one. So there's $60 in here that came from Seasons in here. And I want to fulfill it fast because October break is coming up. And the goal here is to make sure I have money for when the girls are off during certain weeks in the year. Because there's, I mean, obviously there are more expenses because we're at home. And it always catches me off guard and there's a little bit more eating out or they want to go somewhere and 150 is not much but it's something um so that we can at least do uh something fun during that time or not feel under pressure that i don't have extra money during that time so definitely have something a little bit safe for um that october break that we have coming up really soon and that will fulfill that challenge there. So the next one we're doing is this one. And I want to do letters here. Each letter, I want it to be $3. So we'll do three, six, nine, twelve dollars $12 for next time. And I will say this one and again. If I need to make changes, these are very easy to change. I can always do $10 instead of 40. I can always do $3 instead of 12 or two, whatever I decide. And then let's go into the monthly. So this is my months. And I also wanted to complete this one. We counted out the letters for each. Let's go ahead and just put in the numbers. So if we go ahead and add that up, it should come out to, let's take a look really quick. It should come out to $37. That's what I did the math for last time. So 20, 30, 35, 36, $37 for monthly. 
20, 30, 35, 36, 37. Okay, so for months, we have 500, 600, 720, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51 dollars. So 751 in months for Two Sister B's Rainy Day Challenges. I'm going to put this back in here and let's see, moving on to October, what we're going to do. So I read through this and honestly, I don't have the brains to think of all stuff. So there's supposed to be aliens and cows somewhere here. I read through this. It, it kind of sort of makes sense, obviously, but I just, uh, I don't want to worry about it. So I think if I get any of these, I will put in ten dollars instead of the five or i guess it depends maybe on low weeks i can change it and then if i get a cow i will do five dollars and then any other denomination well i'll just pay it so let's go ahead and get my scratcher sorry i'm trying to figure out why our dog is barking again every time i film okay so let's just, you know what? Let's do this bottom one. <laughs> and I get a cow. And let's do this top one. Oh, wow. I get an alien. I got abducted by an alien. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to do $15 for this one. Next time. Alrighty then. Well, good. That is awesome. Now, that is it for this challenge. We are moving on. And my goal is to eventually just have the ten dollar challenge um for my 100 envelope and that way i'll just focus on that which is the mighty one so let's see if that happens let's remove these out of the way and let's go into one of my favorites and that would be janelle ray budgets and this is the 26 week and 26 weeks until christmas or Grinchmas, I should say. And it's supposed to be $1,000 by the end of it. And I do I do scratch so that I know how much to allow for next week. And this time around, I also took this one. And I have prop money in here now because I don't like to have uh, a lot of money in the house. And it's I know it's not a lot compared to others, but honestly... It's just me. Uh, so in here, we already had 120, 25, and this is in the save. So 125 was in here, and we're going to add to this one exactly, I wanna say it was $50, yep, it was. So I'm gonna add $50, and this now comes out to 50. Oh, let's just do the 100. 150, 150. 170 175 and it was supposed to give us 172 i'm assuming i added or rounded in one of the numbers so 175 is completed in here and i will replace that 50 dollar with a prop money next time and then in here we had these three numbers and if we add them or i add it correctly it was 29 so I will do 20, 
25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and oh, this is the first money that goes in here. So let me just double check. 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And that goes in here. Now, here's where one of the big changes is happening. I cannot really scratch off tons. I was thinking of not doing any of it, actually. But really deep inside of me, I want to scratch off at least one or two. So let me go ahead, just because I know I'm already behind and if, even if I do one instead of more, because I really need to do dental, um, what is it called? Um, really need to put some money together for a dental. Basically save for the dental visit for October 31st. So literally I have a month to do that and I think I, I can do it. Um, so I don't have to put it on the credit card. So I'm going to scrunch. Um, let's do this one here. And I am quite going to stop there because I don't want it to get larger. So I'll still do at least that one. So I'll do 13 here. And then let's move on to spooky and dental. So let's remove this one. Goodbye, Grinchmas. And let's go to our scratch offs, which I really, really do enjoy. So this time around, I do need $23 for, oh no, you know what? I moved some binders around, so I'm going to have to bring in one of my old binders here. And I'm going to pause this challenge actually for next time. One of the ones that I had in this binder that I moved here. I figure I would do like long-term challenges here. And it would be this one from Lisa Grateful Me on YouTube and the Happy Mailbox Co. on Etsy. I decided to use the 100 envelope challenge with a twist in this binder because these are a little bit more long-term. And so you'll see them in an upcoming video. But for now, I did a lot the money for this um, specific video here because I just literally switched so I'm going to grab the purple marker and let's go ahead and see what card I have sc scratched 23 so I have 23 here so I'll do 23 over here then Okay, let's see how much we have here. We're going to be pausing it until I fulfill my dental um, goal. So 100, 200, 220, 30, 35, 36, 43 not bad almost a fourth of the way and again I am not going to pull a card or scratch it because I want to make sure that I can meet other goals and I do want to fulfill the uh, spooky challenge in here so let's go to that this one's in here 
And this one right here, I scratched off. Let's take a look at that. I put mischief cards in here because that's the one I want to do next. And so let's take the challenge out. And we have eight, eight, eight. Oh, I did four cards. Eight, 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 and 15 which will give me $39, so 20, 30, That's our $5, so I don't have any bats, but I do have eight, so I can do either ghosts or skulls. So I think I'm gonna do one, two, three, and then 115 will be the last one, I think. Yeah, that's awesome. So maybe I'll just finish the scratch off. Let's see. Let's go ahead and color this in. All right, that is awesome. So, I have one, two, three, four bats, and two, eight. I might just do it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's see how many, one, two, three four five six seven oh that's a lot okay no one two three let's do three let's do three let's see what we have for next week Okay, so all of them were five. That is $15. Actually, I should just leave them here for next time. So for now, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 105, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 116 dollars in the spooky challenge and that's very exciting. We're almost there and when we are done then I'll move to Miss Chief budget Wednesday Adams challenge which I am honestly really excited to start but we won't get there probably if not next week the following yeah this one right here so definitely very cool very excited about that and then um, let's see I do want to get started with the dental Sorry, I'm going back and forth, but this one is really important. I actually started some time back with $19, $20, $30. So this should be 
$30 in here. This challenge is for, but from budget Budgets and Chaos. And I absolutely love her challenges. I have so many that I haven't started. So I have $30 and I want to scratch off the entire top row. And it's going to be a lot. That's why I'm canceling um, 100 envelopes with a twist from um, Lisa Gray for me or the Happy Mailbox Co. on Etsy. Because I really want to make sure I have enough money for when we go back to the dentist. So, yeah, I have um, exactly a month. So, let's go ahead and scratch this off. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and add these up. One hundred four, and that's what we're bringing in for dental. And then I really wanted to do one for for um, budget with mama bear so moving the calculator out of the way and let's bring this one out and see what we get i do want to do what's the two of them All right, so that's 12 and nine, that would be 19, 20, 21. So $21 for next week. And that is exciting. They're, they, they're just so cute, I can't. They're adorable, um, I had to. So 21 for this one. I want to do one from the goth girls. I really, I really love these Halloween challenges and I'm excited, I have so many. I also have this book right here. And I know this video is already long. I'm not sure why I'm taking my pseudo time. Maybe because I thought it was going to be shorter. But it's already really long. I cannot believe myself. Um, anyway, this is from Budgets and Chaos as well. And I wanted to start it. But it'll have to wait for another time. So let's go ahead and do one of these. Oh my gosh, guys, this scratch off was so satisfying. I cannot even um, explain to you. So that's $15 for Budget and Chaos Goth Queens or Goth Squad, I should say. And then that is going to be it, it for this one. So for next week, I will fulfill the rest of the challenges in here. Let's close this up. And I just have one more to do. Let's do that and then we'll call it a day for this savings challenge. So my monthly uh, black and white challenges um, is due and we have the last $25 for the month of September. All right, so we are done with September and we should have 100, that's 50, 70, 90, and 10 is $100. Very mega exciting, which means next week I will write down $25 for the new month so I can split it into four weeks or let's see. Oh my gosh, look at October, how cute. 
I think I'll do 30. Let's do these two ghosts right here. We'll do 15 and 15, 30 for next week. So let's go ahead and write that down for monthly black and white, $30. And that's what I have. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your time. I hope you enjoy this. I know it's a long one as well, but at least it's not an hour. So for now, I got to let you go because I do need to film the second part of this. Love you guys. Take care. But more than anything, as always, God bless. Bye.